Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic. Today is going to be the beginning of a new playthrough for me in Burning Crusade Classic. And this time around, we're going to be going on a rogue. This will be one of the few times I've ever played a rogue, so I'm really excited to be on the rogue again. The last time we were on a rogue was during a Night Elf hard mode run, and I found that I really, really enjoyed the class. Those of you who've been around the channel know that I've been playing a lot of Season of Mastery uh, and a little bit of retail to the exclusion of all other things, but I've been getting the itch to get back into Burning Crusade. And I don't want to say, like, in a progression server, right? Because it's all still classic, but I do start to think that eventually we're going to be going into Wrath of the Lich King classic, and I want to start thinking about what character I want to bring there and what I want to do there. So that journey begins today. A few things, we are going to be using the Questy add-on. That's the only add-on we're going to be using for this playthrough, is going to be Questy. And the biggest thing I've learned to love about Questy is that it's going to show us quests on the map that we otherwise might never pick up. Quests that have been in the game for 15 years that I have never seen, even though I've played for all that time. And yeah, I'm really excited to incorporate Questy into a Burning Crusade classic playthrough. I think it's going to be... A whole new experience. I think we're going to see parts of Azeroth that we didn't get to see previously. So yeah, I'm not going to say anything else. Let's go ahead and get right into things. For nearly 7,000 years, the High Elves cultivated a shining magical kingdom, hidden deep within the forests of Northern Lordaeron. But five years ago, the undead scourge invaded Quel'Thalas and drove the elves to the brink of extinction. Led by the evil death knight Arthas, the scourge destroyed the mystical Sunwell, thereby severing the elves from the source of their arcane power. Though the scars of that conflict are evident, the remaining elves have banded together and retaken much of their homeland. Calling themselves Blood Elves, these grim survivors are committed to regaining the vast powers they once commanded. Inspired by the leadership of their beloved prince, Kael'thas Sunstrider, the Blood Elves now seek new sources of arcane magic and the means of defending their land against the undying horrors of the Scourge. As one of the few surviving Blood Elves, you must master your thirst for magic and help shape the destiny of your people. All right, a few other things as I get some settings changed here. For our professions, we are going to be going leatherworking and skinning so that we can make our own gear on the way up. I'm going to go ahead and turn the music up a little bit. I try to make these playthroughs relaxing and chill, so I try to focus on the ambience and music and make sure that's loud enough uh, to be enjoyed. Let's go into our interface options and make sure that auto loot is turned on right away. And then, oh, let's hit OK. And for our action bars, let's go ahead and turn on the bottom two. Uh, that should be good. It saved my UI settings, so these are not here by default, and in fact, I'm gonna move them a little bit further down. Uh, but you can lock and unlock them, and I like to have them down here. I feel like they're more visible down here than at the top of the screen. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be doing skinning and leather working, and I'm gonna be learning the rogue class, so as I go, if you guys have any suggestions or tips or insight you'd like to share, I would very much like to hear it. If you're new to the channel, I do tend to read a lot I'm of the quests. I don't know if I'll be reading all justice. of the quests. She is a little loud, isn't she? Let's move her down there like that. And that should be okay. Let me know about the settings, guys. We will get anything adjusted that we need to. But yeah, I'm not going to read what all of the quest, but I am going to read the more important ones. And we will just kind of skim the ones that are more side quest oriented. Though a lot of stuff here in the Blood Elf Zones uh, contain good lore and interesting little tidbits. Reclaiming Sunstrider Isle. The sooner you begin your education, the better for us all. There is little room for error, so listen closely. 
The burning crystals, the green floating objects to the west of Sunspire here, have long been used to power the Isle's experimentations. The mana worms were their guardians, but the scourge invasion of Quel'Thalas has driven them errant from our lack of magical control over them. There is little choice but to thin their numbers for reclamation. Do this and return to me. We need to kill eight mana worms. Just out of curiosity, something I typically do when I play is to see who else is playing in the zone, how many active players are there. Looks like we have a few people playing. A few people leveling up new Blood Elf characters here on Mankirk's server. Let's not type all W's into the chat. Not really how we want to start things off. Alright, so we've got auto attack, obviously. We've got Sinister Strike and Instant Strike that causes 3 damage in addition to your normal weapon damage and awards 1 combo point. And then Eviscerate is going to spend our combo points and it's going to deal damage based on how many combo points we've accumulated on the target. Like right there, we just wasted 2 combo points. Something I really enjoyed about the Rogue in the brief time that I have played it is I like having energy and not having mana. It's kind of the same reason why I like playing on a warrior, uh, is because we can go from pull to pull, and besides monitoring our health, we don't have to worry about drinking to get mana back. So I find that pace a lot more enjoyable than some of the mana using classes like Mage. I think Sinister Strike starts our auto attacks, so I think for now I'm going to go ahead... Hey, yeah, it does. I'm going to move that off of our main bar and do something like this. Although I think I want this here. Let's do something like this for now. Look at that, that's really lucky. Now, that's one of the kind of good things that can happen in the very beginning of a playthrough is if you get a bag right away, that's like one of the best things that can happen for you. Uh, that just means immediately more inventory space, which is gonna become an issue for us really quickly. We're gonna have to be diligent about emptying out our bags every time we're in town and making sure that we're not holding on to stuff that we don't actually need. Now we did hit level 2 there. And now we can see that we have a lot more quests to do here that are showing up on our minimap. One of the good things about Questy is we can hover over any of these and it'll tell us what level it's intended for and it can give us a little bit of information if we want about each of the quests, which at first can be a lot of information, kind of popping up on your minimap, a little bit overwhelming. But as you look at it and use the add-on, you do tend to start to get used to the information that it does give you uh, and you can fall. use it to your advantage. You have successfully completed your first task. For that, you are to be congratulated. Such successes gives me faith that you will turn out better than those young blood elves who fall to heed the lessons of their masters. Continued success will be rewarded not only with knowledge, but also with tangible rewards as well. Uh, we could really use some leather, but I, I guess we'll take the cloth for now. And let's pick up a few things here. Unfortunate measures. Your efforts... Your effort has made something clear that honestly I wish were not true. The unchecked power of the burning crystals has maligned a much larger swath of the Isle's natural balance than I thought. We must now take on more unfortunate measures to reclaim control. The nearby lynxes have succumbed to the influence of the crystals, and they must be put down. Kill eight poor little lynxes, and then we need to talk to our rogue trainer. I think I need to... just... Turn this down a little bit. And maybe turn the overall up. There we go.
Yes. I've heard your name whispered from the shadows. It's said that you're looking for someone experienced to show you the ropes. Someone like me. I can do that, but it'll cost you a small cut of your take every time I've got something to teach you. Okay, he wants us to go and speak to Well Watcher Selenian. We will have justice. And we can uh, go ahead and grab stealth here. Hold your head high. Now, I am going to put that on a hotkey. Typically, I'll do something like that. Okay, that should work. And then it also helps to, on the stealth bar, put it there again so I can just kind of pop out of it with the same button. The dark times will pass. With all the chaos happening here at the Sunspire, I haven't had a chance to collect my belongings. I've left outside at various places on the aisle. I must maintain my vigil over the Sunwell here. So I'll ask you to collect my things in my stead. The reckoning is at hand. And the Shrine of Doth Rimar. Day after day I stand here, watching, waiting. I've been accused of dwelling too much on our past, while my eyes look to the horizon. But it is my firm belief that each visitor to this island should honor those who have sacrificed all so that they may continue to do so. Dathramar Sunstrider was our first king. He led us here from Kalimdor through the Maelstrom. Seek out his shrine to the west, and do not return to me until you have read the plaque upon it in his honor. Remember the sun well. Dialogue just sounds a little loud still. It is, it is up a little high. Let's, let's just go ahead and get that under control. Perfect. We will persevere. It's a shame that we've lost control of many of the creatures here on the island. This was once a tranquil place of study and research. Now it's all we can do to keep them from being attacked, uh, to keep from being attacked by our own creations. I'm going to offer you a chance to receive a magical boon in exchange for collecting some work on your part. Bring me a stack of arcane silvers that are found on the mana-using creatures on Sunstrider Isle. The reckoning is at hand. Victory lies ahead. And thirst unending, if there is only one lesson you deign to remember from your time on Sunstrider Isle, let it be this. Control your thirst for magic. It is a thirst unending. You must absorb energy to survive via mana tap, and you must control how you release it via arcane torrent. So we're going to go practice that on some of the local creatures here. Uh, for that, I'm going to go ahead and keybind these. So we can get the, f the Fistful of Silvers, and we can work on uh, doing our mana tap on these guys. Of course, to do that, we have to actually tag the mob before somebody else does. And then mana tap does have a 30 second cooldown. That's kind of the other limiting factor. And we need Lynxes as well. Looks like the Cubs count. So we can kind of work on those in between mana tap cooldowns. Now, while we are going to do leatherworking and skinning, you can't actually skin any of the things in the small starting zone. So, by starting zone, we're talking about just the Sunstrider Isle area. We're not going to pick up skinning and leatherworking until we get out of here and get over to Falcon Wing Square. Although it is a little bit painful thinking that we're kind of leaving skins on the ground. I love the music here. <laughs> I hope it's loud enough for you guys. If it's not loud enough, or even if it's too loud, let me know. 
uh, because it is some of the best music in the game, in my opinion. Alright, so that's six out of six for the mana tab. Now we really just need to get some arcane slivers. Not arcane silvers. Another thing I should probably mention early on is that these are going to be longer episodes, so they're probably going to all be around an hour. Uh, in the past, when I've done playthroughs, they were shorter, but recently I've been doing hour-long episodes for most of my series, and it feels a lot better. Uh, the flow feels a lot better, and just the pacing seems better. And it's also just a good amount of time for me to sit down and just crank things out uh, without really taking a break. So yeah, we're going to do that. And I can't remember if one of the guy's belongings is over here or not. Uh, I don't think there's one here. But there is one over here, and then there are a couple farther out on the island. Let's wrap up the Lynx Claw, or the Lynx Collar Quest. And yeah, I'm not using stealth yet. Right now there's not really a big reason to use it. I don't know really how often we want to use it in just general combat, but that's something that I'll definitely take feedback on, and I'll kind of feel it out as I go. Okay, let's go turn the ones in that we have completed. And we'll pick up the next set and then kind of make a plan from there. What business have you? You've done well today. Your willingness to learn shows that you may very well rise above the unyielding cravings you must endure as a blood elf. Let's grab the leather. Time is of the uh, let's talk to the vendor here. Uh, let's get our character window up first. 
Uh, let's see. This is a leather belt. We will take that over the cloth one. I don't think we can use anything else. Oh, we have a bag. Perfect, perfect. I forgot that they give you that free bag. That is also pretty huge. And then we have leather boots. Okay, looking good. Do we have leather pants? No, we have no leather pants. Although this has four armor. It's better than the two armor that we currently have on. And we can sell everything else. Salama Ashalinore. Baladash Malanore. Remember the sun went. And from him we get the daylight cloak, which is barely a cloak. It's kind of more like a shawl, almost. Hmm. Glory to the Sindorai. And we'll take the leather. You are to report to my assistant, Lanthan Pirilan. He will instruct you on what needs to be done next. While he, we here at the Sunspire will continue to reign in the Burning Crystals, you will be focused on a more pressing matter concerning Falthbian Academy. Lanthan will explain fully when you speak to him. Keep your wits about you. Okay, yeah, we will get to that. Uh, let's come over here. I think one of Salarian's belongings is over here. We might not do this guy's quest right away, but let's come over here and talk to him to find out exactly what he's going to want us to do. We will persevere. Magistrix Arona told me you'd be along quick enough. The Felthrian Academy to our west, the huge floating building with the ornate spires is in bad shape. You're going to be leading the effort to recapture it from one of the wretched, a blood elf who has forever succumbed to their basest cravings. Stay the course. Before sending you to the Academy, I want you on another task that needs to be dealt with immediately. Once used to aid us in the gardening of Sunstrider Isle, the bestial tenders now have grown out of control. Clear them out with due haste, but be warned, their lack of control has made them aggressive. It is such aggression that forces us to put down these once gentle servants. Keep your wits about you. Kill some treants. And as we're doing that, I think we can pick up another of these items. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, I think it's more over this way. And we can fight some tenders as we go here. Someone has been through here killing tenders. Let's come over here and we'll get the item, Selanian's Scrying Orb. Three Sinister Strikes and then an Execute seems to work well on these guys.
I almost feel bad for killing the little trees, but they said they've all gone crazy, so I guess there's really not much we can do. I don't think I've ever really noticed how the water flows down out of here around this little thing. Hmm. I am going to pick up the item, just trying to wrap up some of these tenders. Wrapping up some tenders. Sounds like I'm making a meal. And there is the Scroll of Scourge Magic, which sounds bad, like maybe we should just burn that. But okay. And then we have to go back here to the shrine and read the little flavor text on it. You have discovered the location of the shrine. Upon further examination, you sense a strong pulse of the strange power that has gripped the isle. You feel a bit uncomfortable standing by the shrine, and perhaps a little disturbed. The bronze placard along the side of the shrine reads, Here stands the shrine of Dothramar, a fitting tribute to a noble elf. Let all who gaze upon this monument remember his sacrifice against the scourge, and his dedication to the cause of our continued survival. All who prosper in Quel'Thalas do so thanks to him. Alright, cool, let's head back. Take the dagger. I don't think we can dual wield yet, but it'll be a damage upgrade. A betrayer of our people resides atop Felthrian Academy to the southwest. Felendrin is his name, and he was banished from Blood Elf lands for failing to heed the warnings of our teachers and elders. He is the worst of our society, as he lives only to feed his insatiable magical addictions. He refused to learn control. He is a shell of his former self, one of the wretched, and is a threat to the Sunspire. Destroy him and the wraiths he uses as his minions. Alright, uh, let's go back though first and turn in Selanian's belongings to him. Uh, before we follow up on the academy.
A new Belore Delana. We will have justice. And that's all Selenian has for us. I don't know if he's gonna do some RP here. No, I must be thinking of somebody else. All right, let's double check with our trainer as well. We did hit level four, so we're probably due for some skills. Uh, selling some stuff might give us the coin we need to buy said skills. Let's not sell anything that's an upgrade though. Like the leather pants or the dagger. Okay, we cannot dual wield yet. All right, there we go. We're coming together. We're looking good. Let's sell the rest of this stuff. And we'll head out. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, what I was thinking about was that you see on the map here, on Questy, there are multiple of the same quest. And what that's denoting is that up here there's one of the enemies, the Tainted Arcane Wraiths, that if we kill them, we can get an item that begins that quest. So it's marking a bunch of different ones, just indicating where that enemy might spawn, who's going to have the item. And it was one of you guys who let me know that that's what was going on when it tracks a quest uh, pickup location multiple times in multiple different places. It means that uh, an enemy can spawn there that has an item that begins the quest. Uh, same thing here, I don't think we really have to worry about stealthing. I think we can just walk up and take these guys on. Not really a big deal at this point, we deal quite a bit of damage starting off here. Yeah, strangely haven't seen any of the tainted wraiths yet. Tab targeting there for the win, targeting the guys way back there instead of the guy right in front of us. Let's go have a peek over this way. It's not the way that we have to go, but uh, I would like to find... Here we go. There's one down here. I think I'm going to fight down to it because uh, they, they don't spawn a lot of them, and we're kind of getting close to the top, so... That being said, we're probably going to have to fight through more of the Arcane Wraiths than we actually need for the quest, but that's okay.
And there we go, there's the item. Let's go ahead and take a look. You found an odd sliver of crystallized mana on the corpse of this tainted arcane wraith. The sliver is different than the others you may have seen in that it is dark and sinister looking as the wraith you looted it from. Just holding it gives you a sense of unnatural foreboding. Arcanist Helion at the gazebo of the Sunspire and Sunstrider Isle just might be someone who would have a use for this. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I don't see any other ones. We do need one more for the quest, for the kill quest. But we'll make our way to the top and see if we find any on the way. There we go. That's our second one. And with that, there is level 5. Let's grab... Oh, we'll grab this guy on the way up, and that'll be all the wraiths that we need. Then we just have to find this guy's head. He's going to be at the very top. As bosses are wont to be. Oh, he has quite a few guys up here with him, so if you don't find any of the Tainted Arcane Wraiths, you can just come all the way up top, and there are apparently going to be a couple of them up here. We are going to have to probably just take this one out. We can we can use Throw to pull him. Uh, we haven't used Throw yet. Might be good to start working on that Throw skill. Very cool. That's uh, very rude. Very, very rude. But it's World of Warcraft, so you're probably right. Not far from the mark, at least. And yeah, that's all we need here. I don't know if we can jump down anywhere safely. I feel like we can. I feel like we could jump down onto this. Um, yeah, hey, that, uh, that actually worked. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but... We didn't pull any angry ads, and uh, it, it got it done, so... Quite a sight that actually is. Uh, you don't really notice it unless you purposely look, but it, it stands over the entire little zone here, and is really quite impressive. It's like there's other parts to it, but I, those are parts that aren't really attached. We, we can't get into any of those structures, I don't believe. Too much ground clutter. Something like that. Okay, this guy is back over here. Philendron's head, you are to be commended. You've succeeded where others, like Philendron, have utterly failed. Perhaps you are truly ready to be a contributing member of Blood Elf Society. Uh, let's take the bow. I think we can learn bows. I think. Mm, don't quote me on that. Aiding the Outriders. Magistrix Arona wanted you to head over to Silvermoon City in order to aid our reclamation efforts there. That is, once you had successfully addressed the situation at Felthrian Academy, you did not disappoint us. On your way to Falconwing Square, south of here, you should speak with Outrunner Alarion. She's not far from the bridge. The Outrunners take care of shuttling goods between here and the mainland, and since you've proven to be so resourceful, they could use your assistance. Okay, let's go back to... Uh, Arcanist Hellion here first. Uh, we did have that tainted arcane sliver that we took the quest from. I think the last time I leveled through here, I forgot to take that quest and ended up having to run all the way back. Yes. 
From your demeanor, you seem to be on a matter of some urgency. Is there something specific? Uh, yeah. This is most interesting. And when I say interesting, I mean more disturbing than anything else. Our efforts to reassert control over the Isle in the time following the destruction of the Sunwell have been a challenge. I suspect that whatever foul source is corrupting the Isle is at the heart of it all. This sliver may be of some aid in uncovering what's really going on. You were wise to bring this to me. Take this as com- and then we never hear from him again. <laughs> There's something afoot, but we're not going to tell you what it is right now. Uh, we'll sell this for now. I mean, if we can learn bows, not really a big deal either way. Uh, the pants can go. Okay. Uh, did we need to double check with the trainer? I think we do still need to double check with the trainer. Yeah. What business have you? Yeah, we definitely uh, sold stuff, got some money, but we didn't train, did we? Backstab and pickpocket. Okay. Keep your wits about you. So backstab, I don't know if we have to be in stealth. Let's see. Backstab the target, causing 150% weapon damage, plus 15 to the target. Must be behind the target. So, it doesn't say that we have to be in stealth. Obviously, the best chance we have of getting someone in the back is being in stealth, but non-aggressive mobs? Non-aggressive mobs, we can just straight out backstab. And it's gonna award one combo point. And then pickpocket does require stealth. Let's do something like that. I'll try to pickpocket here and there. Um, yeah, if you guys know of, like, specific mobs that I should definitely pickpocket because they have a high chance of dropping something cool, then, yeah, I can do that, but otherwise I'll, I'll try to pickpocket humanoids and stuff occasionally and see how that goes. Alright, it looks like we are going to be leaving Sunstrider Isle here, uh, saying our farewells to the place. And we're going to be heading out to help the Outriders. Yeah, you don't really spend a lot of time on Sunstrider Isle, do you? But we will we will be spending a lot of time in the next area, so we'll kind of make up for it. Victory lies ahead. Well, hello there, Rogue. I heard that a resourceful young blood elf, formerly in the service of Magistrix Arona, might be making their way down here to help us outrunners out. It's hard work being an outrunner between Sunstrider Isle and Falconwing Square, tight deadlines, long hours, and worst of all, the wretched. The road south goes through the ruins of Silvermoon. The place is crawling with wretched, ready to kill you for a few mana crystals. Unfortunately, I think that's what happened to the last outrunner we sent with one of Arona's packages. I see you're eager to prove yourself. Venture into the dawning lane and see if you can find any traces of our outrunner. To all who us. They're outrunners, Robert, not outriders. Outriders is the name of a failed looter shooter. Outrunners are blood elves who deliver packages and do other useful things. Yep. Yeah. Whenever you go looking for people in WoW, they typically are dead. The Outrunners' belongings have all been stolen with the exception of one package. At least they left the package. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a breadcrumb quest to take to the inn. It's actually very considerate of the wretched. That's a pull. Just got distracted by the ear bounce. By the Sunwell, that's the third outrunner we've lost this month. I appreciate your courage in venturing into Dawning Street. 
the guards need to keep a closer eye on these blasted wretched. The death of another Outrunner is a true tragedy, but it's a risk we all accept when we take the job. Magistrix Arona at the Sunspire needs to get this package to the inn at Falconwing Square, and she needs it there as soon as possible. Be ready for anything. We are on the job. And maybe we'll get to listen to the epic bridge music again. Or just some creepy ambience. Okay, that's fine. Alright, looks like we're going to have a lot to do here right off the bat, but first things first, let's go ahead and we will get over to the inn. We will bind our hearthstone that we haven't even used yet. Um, strangely, we could have used it a couple of times, but it, we didn't really need it, so... Your gold is welcome here. And there we go, there is the package delivered, and we're going to take the shiny red apples. While you're here, please make yourself comfortable. If you haven't done so already, feel free to get a hearthstone and bind yourself. We will do just that. Well, we could take a break here, but I, I feel like we could do a few more quests today. Let's just come out here and take a look at what's going on. Magister Joranis here has a ma major has a major malfunction, and so does my ability to speak. He wants us to collect six arcane cores from the arcane patrollers that roam the ruins of Silvermoon. Same thing as a lot of the stuff here. It's like these things that used to help them that have become defunct and aggressive. And I think they need the power us. cores uh, for something, so... We'll help with that. Unstable Mana Crystals. A group of wretched recently raided a supply of unstable Mana Crystals from one of our Arcane Sanctums. If not handled properly, the crystals could explode with enough force to blow a hole into the city wall. Now Rambles, I don't quite care if they blow themselves up while tapping unstable Arcane sources, but the whole incident would make my men look bad. He wants us to bring some of them back. Uh, we have a wanted poster here for Thalys the Hungerer. Uh, definitely a wretched. Uh, we don't need anything here. We don't have anything to sell, so that's good. We... It's a quest outside the walls. Um, that's a level 6 quest. I think we are good to focus the ones inside the walls first. Somebody uh, has a wretched here they don't want to fight. Gonna try to focus on the arcane patrollers. We don't really have to fight the wretched, I don't think. We need to get crates of unstable mana crystals that they've stolen. But maybe for these guys we could open with a backstab if we want. I don't know if we need to. I don't really want to be the sneaky type of rogue. I, I want to be the rogue that kind of like runs at you with two swords and uh, slashes and stuff. I don't know. I'd like to be a swordmaster that doesn't require stealth. I, I don't know if that is something that we're going to be able to do. But we'll see. I don't mind using stealth situationally. I don't really want to open every pull with it while leveling. Uh, because I feel like that might get a little tedious. But we'll see. Uh, this guy is going to get beat down by an arcane patroller. That was a close one. He's a hunter. Doesn't have a pet yet at this level. Should have been a rogue. Well, 
Well, he was also meleeing, which I guess at Ep without a pet at a certain point you can't avoid it, but... Uh, I saw an arcane patroller and then he kind of wandered off. I tried to stealth there, didn't didn't quite get the stealth key in time. That's okay. Yeah, I don't know about a two pull here. This seems potentially bad. I feel like the the named guy is going to be inside one of these buildings, perhaps even inside this building. Let's do a little sneaking. Can't hurt, right? How, how easily will these guys detect us? Not too easily, unfortunately for them. Yeah, see, and then we do have a cooldown on stealth. It's a, only a 10 second cooldown. I cannot stand the pain. I must find a new source. Yeah, your pain's about to end, man. Oh, we pulled everything! Well, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we survive this. What can we do? We don't really have any tricks for survival as a rogue, do we? Oh, we didn't even kill this guy. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, jeez. How many times am I going to die on a rogue, guys? I'm used to having some kind of button I can push, like a get-out-of-jail-free card, some kind of dodge or extra defense, maybe a potion. Uh, we don't have any potions. Uh, how would I get potions in stock? I guess I could try to find a vendor that sells potions. I guess I could buy some off the auction house. I might have to look for some potions eventually because... Uh, I definitely need to have a button to get some health back in the event of an emergency. Like, we could have taken those guys. If we had a single potion, it would have been fine. Single potion. Oh, we also have to learn... Uh, it hasn't really come into play yet because we haven't been fighting beasts. But we have to learn skinning pretty soon. Okay, uh, everybody has respawned because of course they have. Let's come over here and we'll eat some bread. Now, how exactly are we going to do this? It's still going to be a two pull. As long as it isn't a three pull, we should be fine. Oh, his buddy didn't even come with him. Okay, so you can get him all by himself. Somewhere in going crazy, like he lost his pants. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Alright. Got his head. Are there any crates in here? Doesn't re Oh, there's one over here. Okay, good. We should probably deal with this guy. Yeah, see, they have, like, little stutter steps where you think you're gonna be behind them, but then suddenly they flip around and you're in front of them. That's not useful, because then you get attacked anyway. And the stealthing didn't do you any good. Yeah, we're pretty weak against two at a time. We want, we want to be careful about this, because... Uh, we are a little bit overmatched against two. I see a lot of first aid leveling in our future. Uh, 
Um, I don't really know how we tagged this. I, it seemed like for sure this paladin had it tagged. I had it targeted and we were stealthing up to it, but that was a little bit weird. Just a little bit weird, a little bit of weirdness. No big deal. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, the other thing is our speed. Like, we can't stealth too early, otherwise this happens. And yeah, I don't really, I don't really have a lot of patience for that. <laughs> Kinda have to stealth at the last minute right before they would detect us. Okay, so that's all the patrollers we need. Now we're just looking for a couple more boxes of unstable mana crystals. We have four out of six. I guess it could be used for just sneaking past guys that we don't particularly need to deal with. Every 10 seconds at least. Okay, there are a couple crates here. Huntress of the Sun. Is that supposed to be Sylvanas or one of her sisters? A couple of copper. Alright, that is a clear map. What do you say we go ahead and use our hearthstone for the first time? It's not a long run, but we might as well. Victory lies ahead. Remember the sun well. Okay, that's level six, perfect. We will persevere. Let's take the soft leather vest. Delivery to North Sanctum. I'm pleased to discover that you're at least somewhat competent. I'll give you another task since you seem so eager to prove yourself. This is a letter to Laykeeper Kadanis, the arcanist in charge of the upkeep of North Sanctum. Go southwest out of Falconwing Square and you will find him. All right, we will get to that eventually here. Let's go ahead and equip our soft leather vest. And yeah, we're looking good. The dark times will pass. Darnassian intrusions. Besides the constant threat that the wretched represent, I also have to deal with all kinds of ridiculous, fictitious reports even of night elf sightings. Though most reports are unfounded, one recent incident demands further investigation. The West Sanctum, one of our primary energy sources, has suffered a terrible malfunction and rumors of Darnassian sabotage are rampant. Travel there and deal with anyone that looks suspicious. Report back to Laykeeper Valenia, who watches over the Sanctum. Alright, uh, yeah, we could do that, but I think, guys, that now it is time for us to take a little bit of a break for today. Seems like it should be a little bit of a longer episode than usual, but I will be going for, like I said, about an hour mark for these episodes. An hour gives us time to get some things done and feel like we've accomplished a little bit. Uh, I am going to pick up leather working, and if I, if I have to go to Silvermoon proper to do that, I will go ahead and make that run. Pretty soon we're going to be out where we can fight beasts, and we want to be skinning everything we can. Thank you guys so much for being here today. It really does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there, and take care of each other, 
and we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.